Okay, guys, I challenge you. Who is worse at predicting fights than old Chael, right? But I come to you with, I get a little credibility on this one, don't I? I said I thought that Khabib would win, and I said I thought he would win by rear naked choke, and I said that I thought he would do it in the third round. I was a round off. But I come to you with that credibility to share with you. I'm not sure if I see that fight again, I don't take Conor McGregor. I just saw what happens when Conor McGregor fights Khabib Nurmagomedov. I just saw it. How could I possibly come to the conclusion, if you go and do it again, you're going to get a different result? That is ridiculous. But hear me out on this. And I'm not certain I take Conor, but I'm not certain I'm not. Listen, few moving parts to this fight, okay? We knew going into this thing, Khabib is taking this serious. And we questioned whether Conor was. We didn't know that he wasn't. We didn't know that he was, but, but we questioned it. We see him acting a fool. We see him in a different sport of boxing. We see that he's getting his hand in, you know, the whiskey and it, a little bit busy, right? We know that he made a whole bunch of money and it's difficult for a rich man to fight. All of these things were questioned and we didn't have the answers. Okay. When they walked out, Right at the walkout, it was very interesting. First off, Conor McGregor came in there cold. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but there was no sweat. There was no sweat on his body, which is unusual for the way that he usually would walk out. When Khabib walks out, he was very nervous. He realized the situation he was in and the pressure that he was under. They come out there and they fight, and Khabib goes right for the wrestling. And I can tell you guys as a wrestler how perfect Conor's defense was. Now, I realize it did not hold up. And that's part of any sport, the endurance in being able to do that and focus and get to the right positions and use the right pressures over and over and over and match somebody that's coming at you and staying disciplined. Khabib was so disciplined. He did not get off his game when he was met with more resistance than he possibly thought he was going to get from Conor McGregor in the wrestling department. Khabib stayed focused. Good for Khabib. But not that bad for Conor. When I'm watching Conor out there, and I can tell you this, when you're dealing with wrestling, okay, specifically the wrestling, there's some really big things that are going to take you a really long time to get down. Then there's some finer details, and you can start to pick those up pretty fast. What I don't know if you guys were able to see from watching this fight is Conor had accomplished the really big things. He accomplished getting his hips low. He accomplished turning an angle when Khabib was in on the leg. He accomplished reaching over to that far ankle, slowing him down, freezing that position. He accomplished that. Those are the big things. The small things, prying on the elbow, how he's going to get the pressure, where he's to push the head to free his leg up. Those are small things that can be fixed. Connor accomplished and succeeded at stopping the big things. Now, it's the small details he didn't do, which is why I offer to you, if they were to rematch, and with Connor knowing what he knows now and having the footage that we have now, I just believe that he could fix some of those small things to make the wrestling a little bit more difficult, okay? But he did a very good job with it. He also was very smart in backing up to the fence. It's a very good position to go to. It makes it harder for the wrestler. Khabib did a good job of dragging him down. Khabib secured his legs, which is a, a very high level of ground and pound that Khabib is actually the one that showed this to the rest of us that like to do ground and pound. But Khabib wasn't able to get those strikes off if you watch that first round. He held position, he won the round, move on to the second frame. You see a little bit more. Connor had his hands down. Khabib hit him with a really big shot and hurt him. Listen, any fighter, I don't give a damn if you're a boxer or an MMA fighter, it does not matter who the better striker is, who the more accomplished striker is, who hits harder, who's more fluid, who, none of those things matter, okay? If you fight with your hands down and your chin up, everybody will suffer the same fate, which is they will be knocked out cold. That's almost what happened to Connor. But he dealt with the adversity, he came back. Now Khabib's got him down and Khabib's beating the crap out of him. It's a 10-8 round. It's brutal and it's vicious, but Connor survived. There was a chance there for Connor to flick it. There was a chance there for Connor to sail that one in, and I think a lot of athletes would have. Connor survived and found his way back up to his feet. Showed a lot of grit, showed a lot of heart, showed a lot of discipline. Comes out for round three, Connor beats him. Connor got beaten by a 10-8 round. The fight could have been stopped. 
It was vicious and brutal. The other side of that, when you get a 10-8 round, which is essentially double the points, which is what Khabib did, you use double the energy. He comes out in round three, and Mr. Gas Tank is all, he loses the first round of his career. Very relevant. Khabib has never lost a round. Connor took one from him after getting the crap beat out of him. Connor got beaten so bad, all about the head, chest, neck, body, and face. Comes back and wins the next round. Now you come into the fourth round. Well, what happened? Same thing that happened to Khabib after round two. Now Connor's out of energy. But he's still out there fighting. I mean, this is still a good fight until Khabib got him in some dominant positions. And Khabib was finally able to advance position on the ground. For those first rounds, yes, he was trapping the legs. But when Connor was sliding those legs out, Khabib wasn't really able to posture up and punch. Khabib, sure, in the second round was able to sit in his guard. But it was a fourth round where Khabib was able to advance those positions, half guard to a full mount to where Connor had to turn over and give his back up. You don't have a whole lot of options when you're stuck in a full mount. And that's where Khabib was able to find the choke. When I look at that fight, though, okay, I thought Khabib fought great. Not my message that he didn't. Khabib dominated the wrestling. He did a very good job with his grit. He did a good job with his endurance. Uh, he did a good job coming back after losing the first round of his career. But he also did a good job with the hands. And we talked about this a number of times. There were some false narratives out there. Conditioning issues on Connor's part. That it was on their feet. It was going to be all Connor. These are false narratives. And they got created somewhere along the way. Listen, it, was, it largely started when Khabib fought Ali Aquina. And people didn't think his stand-up looked very good. I had the foggiest idea where that was coming from. It wasn't dynamic. It wasn't flashy. He wasn't TJ Dillashaw out there. That's true. But he was taking this and he was taking this in a forward direction and sticking it on the target every time he wanted to and not getting hit in return. The name of the fight game, guys, I hit you and you don't hit me. That's the name of the fight game. It is not being dynamic. It is not kick the leg and sweep here and sidestep over there and throw this while you're slipping that. It's none of those things. I hit you while you don't hit me. And that's what Khabib did with Al and where that entire premise and dialogue came from that he did not look good in the stand. I think it was false. And I think that I think that now you guys would agree with me after seeing, you know, he was able to change elevation, come up with some hooks, change elevation, boom, come with that straight right and hurt him and do damage and get his respect, get Connor's respect, get Connor to lift those hands up a little bit, making it easier for him to come underneath and get to those legs. I thought it was a really good fight by both guys. And I don't know that that part of the story has been told. I think there has been a lot of people that did not think Connor looked good and showed that wrestling deficit. That's true. He got out wrestled. But he stopped a lot of wrestling, a lot of it. He stopped five shots just in the third round. Just by example, that was the round I kept. Just in the third round, he shut down five attempts. And even if you go back and you watch the first 30 seconds of that fight, the first exchange where Khabib gets in on that single leg, his head's out, he's in great position, but he could not advance. He could not get that other arm across to a double. That's a big deal in wrestling. Connor was doing the big stuff, but he missed some of the finer details. The finer details you can pick up really quick. So if you want to run that back and do it again, my analysis may still be to put your money on Khabib, but it may not. It may not. You give Connor a little bit of time. He can perfect things. He is a rare athlete. He can perfect them in lightning speed compared to other people. I don't think you have to look any further than boxing. He had about eight months where he knew that was going to happen. We, the audience, were finally disclosed it with about two months. But he knew that was going to happen for eight months. And he went from an amateur boxer to going 30 minutes with the greatest of all time. If he can do that with his striking, I would just offer to you that it would be very reasonable for us to conclude that he can do that with his wrestling. And now he knows where those weaknesses are. He thought he learned them with Chad Mendez. He thought he learned them with Nate Diaz. But it's a different style of wrestling what Khabib does. It's different. Khabib's not looking for the hips. He's looking for one leg or he's looking for the body. It's a different style of wrestling. We saw the adjustments that, made, that Connor has made in the past with rematches. If he was to get disciplined and get focused and start to focus on those smaller details, I don't, I don't know if I'm ready to tell you it would be a different outcome, but I could very confidently tell you guys it would be a different fight.